Hi everyone, this is Dee Keys, bringing you an elementalist's guide to the Jade Maw boss fractal. Before the boss are a few groups of mobs that your party is welcome to kill, or you can equip a staff, use air 5 and blast finishers, and air 4 to stack a hefty amount of swiftness on your party for a run through. If you have a thief in your group, you can also stealth for the second half of this run, thus avoiding aggroing some of the larger groups of these mobs. For the battle with the maw, I recommend a staff if you are ranging, or a scepter hammer setup if you are meleeing. In addition to lightning hammer, I would recommend one stun break, such as arcane shield, so that you can get up if you are knocked down just before the maw targets you with an attack. In the first phase of this fight, you must defeat two tentacles, stack might, and keep the tentacle blinded using the lightning hammer auto attack, while your party mates keep up reflects for the iro kanji. If you are downed by an attack, rally off the tentacle. Once the two tentacles are defeated, regroup with your party in the back left corner of the arena for the second phase of this fight. In order to progress the second phase, you must defeat the jade colossi that spawn. Note that the colossi will reflect projectiles such as phoenix, staff auto attacks, and fiery greatswords auto attack, so fight with melee attacks or with AoEs. Additionally, to progress the battle, you must throw charged reflecting crystals at the Maw's face. Notice that every few seconds, an orange icon appears above one of our character's heads. If it appears above your head, either grab a crystal if there is one nearby to get the charge, or dodge as soon as the icon disappears. Once you have a charge, target the Jade Maw and press 1 to throw the rock at it. Killing the Colossi, as well as the tentacles, will spawn more crystals. Once all the Colossi have been killed, which is tracked by one of the two bars on the upper right hand corner of your screen, you'll enter phase 3 of this fight. Again, you and your party will want to regroup in the back left corner of the arena so that you can avoid the tentacles that will spawn. If the last Colossi spawns in an awkward area, you can usually pull it back to that corner. In the third phase of this battle, the tentacles will continuously respawn and you will have no other threats to worry about other than the Maw's laser. DPS down the tentacles with your group so that you have plenty of reflecting crystals. Remember to maintain blinds on the tentacles using lightning hammer and whenever possible stack might on your party so that the tentacles die faster. If using a main hand scepter in this fight, you can use Air 3 or Earth 3 to blind the enemy before you proceed into melee range. Be careful when a tentacle is at low health. If it begins an attack before it dies, it will lose its blind as it dies and complete the attack afterwards. Get ready to grab a crystal when the maw is at 5% health. It will target everyone with its death laser just before it goes away. And that's it for the Jade Maw Fractal. Thanks for watching.